Twelve Dancing Princesses Once upon a time, a king named Athelios had twelve beautiful daughters. Each one was more beautiful than the other. These twelve slept together in one chamber, and every night, when they were in the chambers, the king locked the door and bolted it. But every morning, whenever he unlocked the door, he always saw that their shoes were worn out from dancing, and no one could find out how that had happened. Then one day, the king announced, I hereby invite volunteers. If any man should discover where my dozen daughters go and dance at night, he may choose whichever one he wants to make his bride. But should a volunteer fail to discover where my girls are dancing within one night, he shall be executed. Do I have any takers? It was not long before many princes presented themselves and offered to undertake the challenge, but failed terribly, and no one ever discovered where the twelve princesses went at night. Many others came after this and undertook the challenge, but all lost their lives. Now it came to pass that a poor soldier named Maximus, who had a wound and could no longer serve, found himself on the road to the town where the king lived. There he met an old woman, who asked him where he was going. I've got half a mind to discover where those princesses dance, and thus become king, and married, and rich. That is not so difficult. You must not drink the wine which will be brought to you at night, and must pretend to be sound asleep. With that, she gave him a little cloak, and said, If you put that on, you will be invisible, and then you can go after them. Then he went to the king and announced himself as a suitor. He was as well received as the others. He was led towards the chamber which is adjacent to the princesses, and as he was about to go to bed, the eldest gave him a cup of wine, but he had tied a sponge under his chin and let the wine run down into it without drinking a drop. Then he lay down and began to snore, as if in the deepest sleep. The twelve princesses heard that and laughed, and the eldest said, He too will certainly lose his life. With that they got up, opened wardrobes, and got out pretty dresses, dressed before the mirrors, sprang about, and rejoiced at the prospect of the dance. Only the youngest said, I know not how it is. You are very happy, but I feel very strange. Some misfortune is certainly about to befall us. You are a goose who is always frightened. Have you forgotten how many princes have already come here in vain? I had given the soldier a sleeping drink. In any case, he would not have awakened. Then they look carefully at the soldier, but he had closed his eyes and did not move, so they felt themselves quite secure. The eldest then went to her bed and tapped it. It immediately sank into the earth, and one after the other, they descended through the opening, the eldest going first. The soldier watched everything quietly, then put on his little cloak, and went down last with the youngest daughter. Halfway down the steps, he accidentally stepped on the hem of her dress. She was startled and cried out, What is that? Who is pulling at my dress? Don't be so silly. You have caught it on a nail. Then they went all the way down, and when they were at the bottom, they were standing in a wonderfully pretty avenue of trees, all the leaves of which were of silver and shone and glistened. The soldier thought, I think I'd better grab one of those branches and take it with me as a way to prove where we went this night. So he broke off a branch from one of them, on which the tree cracked with a loud bang. The youngest cried out again, Something is wrong! Did you hear the crack? It is a gun fired for joy because we have got rid of our prince so quickly. After that, they came into an avenue where all the leaves were of gold, and lastly into a third where they were of bright diamonds. 
Maximus broke off a branch from each. They went on and came to a great lake where twelve little boats stood. And in every boat sat a handsome prince, all of whom were waiting, and each took one of them with him. But the soldier seated himself by the youngest. On the opposite side of the lake stood a splendid castle, from which echoed the joyous music of trumpets. They entered, and each prince danced with the girl he loved. The soldier watched them unseen. They danced there till three o'clock in the morning, when all the shoes were bashed into holes, and they were forced to leave. The princes rowed them back again over the lake, and this time the soldier seated himself by the eldest. On the shore, they took leave of their princes and promised to return the following night. When they reached the stairs, the soldier ran in front and lay down in his bed, and when the twelve had come up slowly, he was already snoring so loudly that they could all hear him. The next morning, when the hour had arrived for him to give his answer, he took the branches and went to the king. The princess stood behind the door and listened for what he was going to say. When the king put the question, Where have my daughters danced their shoes to pieces in the night? In an underground castle. And he told them everything he saw and showed him the three branches. The king then summoned his daughters and asked them if the soldier had told the truth. And when they saw that they were betrayed, and that falsehood would be of no avail, they were obligated to confess all. Thereupon the king asked which of them he would have to wife. He answered, I am no longer young, so give me the eldest princess. The wedding was celebrated on the same day, and the king promised Maximus that he would inherit the kingdom after the king died. And then they lived happily ever after. Except the king, of course. The end. If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get future updates. And don't forget to comment! If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get future updates. And don't forget to comment! If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get future updates. And don't forget to comment!